radio counseling on listening before, but on review, I decided I didn't like it and I want to emphasize something. One specific technique called reflection. It's a part of active listening. Active listening is when you are really engaged with the topic that's being discussed or taught. Um, it's like the difference between the teacher who's just reading something that's on the board uh, and the person who's really got you jazzed about it. For example, Ben Stein, and yes, I know I'm dating myself a bit here, um, he became famous for this bit here. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the, anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the, anyone, anyone, a tariff bill, the Hawley-Smoot Tariff Act, which anyone raised or lowered, raised tariffs in an effort to collect more revenue for the federal government. Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? It did not work, and the United States sank deeper into the Great Depression. Today, we have a similar debate over this. Anyone know what this is, class? Anyone? Any so active listening is when you're really just hanging on to a person's words. Like this. Honey, over the years I've learned that you just want me to listen to your problems and not always try to solve them. So, good luck. Homer failed listening because he heard the words and then paid no attention to the meaning behind them. This is where reflective listening comes in. Reflection is when you paraphrase what the person is saying uh, and use your own words to tell them what you think you heard. To be super clear here, it is not this. This, that is a parrot. You're not parroting. You're not just repeating, you're paraphrasing. You are summing up what you have heard. Uh, for example, if you're a parent, you've definitely asked your kid, what did I just say? Uh, the kid probably was able to repeat it, but you know, they aren't paying any attention. That's. Ah! So the next part might be trying to go, well, why did I ask you that? And then you get this look. That frozen fear is because you're suddenly asking them to think about what was being said. Now you, since you're the one who's taking the time to watch this, you want to practice active listening by getting into the mode of paying close attention listening and interpreting in your mind exactly what that meant. When you paraphrase them back then, you're using your own words and reflecting back what you perceived. And they can then either course correct you or tell you how you are dead on. <laughs> when you have somebody that really listens to you, it's respectful. You know that feeling and you feel hurt. Realize you have to put that out there to them to in order to expect to get that back. And if another person is just never paying attention to you and being that kind of levels of disrespectful, well, 